Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and today we're doing some more unit lab and today I'm very excited for this video because I've made the Buckhead Zombie, I've made the Sunflower, I'm making another Plants vs Zombies character, I'm making the Football Zombie because he's just so cool, he's iconic looking, he's cool, he's fun, he's a little bit of a challenge I think, he might be, he's got a lot of different parts to him, um, but yeah I'm pretty, I'd be quite like to do him, it'd be quite fun, so yeah it'd be, it'd be quite nice, yeah. Um, <laughs> These have returned, I know, I know, exciting stuff, isn't it? But just for the beginning bit, because I can't be asked wearing them. Anyway, we're just going to get straight into it. No faffing about. I know that there are some football things, and I am going to use them. I'm going to use the, especially the, the little bits of armor, but they're a bit shitty on their own, so they do need a bit of improving. To stop clipping, because that might be an issue, I'm not going to do the skin tone. I'm going to save that till last. I'm going to do all the armor and the boots and everything like that first and then add everything afterwards, so then I can, you know, because I want to have the gear. I mean, yes, he's a zombie, but we really need him to look like a footballer, otherwise he's just a zombie who looks a bit naff. Oh, just clip my microphone there. So yeah, I need to find a good pair of pants. Um, I f I'm not sure what to go with, to be honest. Oh, those kind of work. Oh, they are a bit odd, though. I'm not sure. If we can maybe pair them with a second pair. That sometimes works, uh, putting two pairs on top of each other. I, I do like to do that, uh, especially if, because, um, oh yeah. Sorry, I just stopped talking, but that, that that works. That does work really well. It covers up the, the weird hole that was at the back. It gives things more of an interesting shape. I like that. Let's just give it a test. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I really like that. Not sure how white I'm going to have it go, because you need white and red and stuff, but I'm not sure how white. But either way, we can fix that later. For now, we're just going to get on with sorting out everything to do with his clothing and stuff. Okay, I didn't leave this part in. It took me a bit of time to actually find a shirt that worked, because some things clipped, some things didn't look good. I needed a shorter length shirt that also had a bit of a v-neck, because I'm picky like that. But also, it, it works for an American footballer. You need that kind of sports jersey type thing. And with the Ottoman shirt and the farmer shirt together, I think it works quite well. It works quite well indeed. Um, I'm pretty... Yeah, I think that might be a good thing to go with. Uh, yeah. I think we do need some other bits of gear, I think. I'm just trying to think what else a footballer will have. I might actually check, I might just give it a Google. Okay, what I forgot about is they need their kind of tucked up socks. So uh, we need to find a pair of socks that don't clip as much. Well, not socks, we're doing pants because the only pair of socks are these really stupid pair that kind of, look, I'll show you. Those that don't really work very well because they clip through the shoes like mad, it's quite horrible. But yeah, we're gonna have to find a pair of pants that doesn't clip too much, so I'll have a look. But one thing we need to do now is we need to sort out the skin because I would like to add maybe a few more bits and bobs but I need to see how many things I'll need for the skin because obviously I don't think I'll be able to put like an undershirt underneath him because of more clipping which is a problem because of this the shirts and stuff but we'll have to have a look. Obviously I'll go with the go-to mask that always seems to be a good one. Right one thing I really need to do is actually I can get rid of this mask quick, uh, this hood I think. Oh no, I can't actually, I can't. Never mind, never mind. Let me get that hood again. God's sake, keep prattling about with stuff. Um, But yeah, as I was saying, um, I need to sort the arms, but I don't think I can do things like a hazmat suit. I could give it a check, but I'm pretty sure it will clip through the... It will clip through the pants. Yeah, it will. Okay, good. Um, Well, not good. That's fucking annoying. But I think... I did think of something. I could try a medieval shirt because they do have those ones that are separated into two parts like this. And it just so happens to cut off at the right part. I know it has these downwards bits, but it, it can just look like his sports shirt is untucked a bit. But, you know, it's the best we can do with, isn't it? But, um, yeah, we can make those arms the kind of skin tone. And, yeah, it only clips a little bit at the back, but I don't mind. That's, that's a sacrifice I'm, I'm willing to make that sacrifice, to be honest. Um, it'll be all right. I'm going to go with these shoulder pads for the armour because they, they suit quite well, especially when they'll be the same colour, it'll be alright and it'll work okay. I also need um, some gloves to go over the arms, here, to go over the hands. Right, the clipping is really starting to annoy me, so I'm going to have a quick look in... Um, Pirate usually has some quite baggy stuff and quite interesting shapes, so I'll have a look and see if I can maybe sort out that clipping just at least a bit. Um, no, definitely not. Um, oh, I think we're on to a winner. These really hide the clipping majorly. They dial it down just that little bit. That's really cool. I'm re yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. I'll definitely use that because that. I'm a real. So I really hate clipping. It's like my worst nightmare. So that and that sorts it. I mean, yeah, he's got three pairs of pants. A bit much, but it works. It works fine, and I'm pretty happy with that. So now, I mean, we've done a lot of the colour, but I can just move on to do the clothes and stuff, and I'll cut back to when I've done that. And obviously, I'll I'll explain what I've done, but. I don't, you don't just want to watch me flick through colours, that's boring, isn't it? All I really needed to do, right, was um, 
make the shoulders and stuff white. The uh, all the reds the same type of red, which is the more light red. I'll just give you a show just to show you. It's there. Um, and yeah, I just put them all into a good similar color area and uh, matched it all together, which I'm quite happy with. Um, right, in terms of weapons, I couldn't find an American football. I really wanted one so he could like throw it, but didn't have one. And he doesn't even have one in the game, so it doesn't matter. But I've gone with just a kick because your football are kicking. A uh, nice charge so he can dive at them. And the vampire bite because I always go with the bite for the zombies because, you know, they, they um, basically makes them look like they're eating stuff alive. I know they're drinking blood, but, you know, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Uh, but stats as well. I've, he's quite a hefty boy. I always, I always end up making hefty boys. A lot of my characters are quite hefty, quite big and quite OTC, but still it's fun. Right. You join me here on a football pitch? Yeah, I know, there's a church in the background, but we can ignore that. Look, big green area, it basically works, doesn't it? It's the closest I could find. But, you know, graveyard in the background, that's quite fitting, isn't it? But either way, I'm going to put my boy against... Um... Oh shit, I forgot to put him in the thing. <laughs> One minute! <laughs> right, we're back after that minor hiccup. Um, I've got my boy here, um, ready to do a bit of football. I'm going to put three of them on. I popped down a few of the sunflower guys as well. Uh, that might be one too many because there's only three, but they're quite hefty dudes, so they might do all right. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, so let's just start it. Guys, oh god, this dude's already on fire. And oh, is he dead? Hmm. Yeah, he is. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, they fucking destroy them. Oh my god, it's insane. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Back from the dead. Goodness, well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, not too bad. He does alright. I mean, yeah, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fucking melted. But, yeah, not too bad. Oh my god, look at the big head dude here. Christ. <laughs> Insane. Crazy. Um, but yeah, they are fucking flying in at super speed. They're insane. Oh, the re... The, the, it's so cool when you watch them kind of charge it up and then just barge in. It's fucking awesome. And let's put it back to normal uh, speed. So they'll be sucking the blood of a few of them. Well, most of them, actually. Um, these farmers do not know what's hitting them. I mean, they cannot fight back. They've got <laughs> nearly not. They've got no strength, no power, no n anything to handle them. And my God, that's amazing, that move. <laughs> He's drinking the blood of one or simultaneously kicking the other into space. That's just, I love that. <laughs> that is amazing. That's so good. Oh, this almost rivals Shrek's kicking ability. Yes, out of context, that sounds fucking weird. But I made a Tabs video where I made Shrek, and if you haven't seen that, you should go watch it. It's a it's a banger. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, it's good. I really enjoyed doing it. So yeah, that was the football zombie in Tabs from Plants vs Zombies. I really enjoyed doing that. That was a lot of fun. Um, I, 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 really, I really enjoyed doing the Plants vs Zombies type characters. There are loads more I can do. And um, there's like the the big dude with the little dude on his back. Sorry, I can't remember the names. <laughs> it's been years and years since I played that game. Um, I mean, it came out in 2009. I was a wee babby boy when it came out. But still. I've really enjoyed doing this, it's been really fun. Um, if you have any suggestions for characters, do put them in the comments, because I do like to do suggestions. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a suggested character. Partly my fault, I haven't been pushing for that as much. I've been more kind of going, I want to do this, I want to do this. But I do urge you, if you have a character idea, put one down. If not, I'll just make something that, you know, comes to me, because I do like to do Unit Lab either way, because it's a lot of fun. But still, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Like, subscribe, and whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video. Right? Bye, 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 bye.